How we doing today, folks? It's your old pal Demo and Zoner, and we are here in the beautiful Big Smoky Valley, and uh, Nye County. <laughs> Nye County, and we are here. And this is this has been a point of contention for many years. We're actually we're probably gonna have to take a trip to Tone Apart to the Hall of Records to figure out exactly what the truth is behind this building directly behind me. Now, some people argue that this is an old stamp mill. Me and Demo will, will explain our arguments to you as to why we do not believe this is the case. We believe that this is a mansion. What's well, given? It's a mansion. It has to be. <laughs> uh, it's not a stamp mill. It, it's a mansion. Uh, now, the legend is that this was built by the last Hawaiian queen. Queen, and please bear with us. We're going to butcher these names. <laughs> queen Liliu Kalani. Queen Liliu Kalani, who lived from 1838 to 1917. Now, she was deposed. Uh, her, her government was overthrown by the Dole family over in Hawaii and uh, with the assistance of the U.S. government. So she was forced to abdicate in 1895. Legend is she moved here because she had a lot of silver mines in this uh, vicinity. And she built this place, and it's been abandoned for... Oh God! At least seventy-five years, wouldn't you think? Well, well, eighteen. Well, looking at some of the trees in there. Well, once we get in there, we'll. Well, those. Are, I mean, these aren't big trees. No. But, I mean, this one here. I mean, you're looking at probably seventy-five years for that tree right there. That's a pinion. Yeah. So they're a lot older than they look. They're not as well nourished or watered as. Yeah. Well, one thing. One thing, Mr. Zoner was talking about, with. Uh, Queen Lily, Lily Kalani? Lily U. Kalani. Lily Kalani. Uh, the, the Hawaiian government was overthrown, or the monarchy was overthrown by the Dole family, which, if you're familiar with things in the grocery store, Dole Pineapple. <laughs> That's them. <laughs> That's them. <laughs> so we're but, gonna take you on a little tour of this place here. Huh? Yes. Let's, let's have a look-see, shall we? Yeah, let's head inside. Now, you can't tell me this is a stamp mill. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at look at the, the architecture up there on that window. Whoop, zoom in really quick. There you go. Yeah. Oh, it's just gorgeous up here. Mountain, fresh air. Yeah. Like green acres, said, we are there. That's probably, that might have been a doorway there. And then you see a window there, possibly a window there. And this thing's three stories. So this, where we're at in this part, this, you know, of course, the basement. So it would have been a double door for, say, carriages or probably bring your horses in, keep That's them out of the weather. Oh, it's massive. Yeah, massive, massive. So. But yeah, we're going to take you on a little tour of this place. Yeah. And, uh, oh, happy Halloween, by the way. It is Halloween. Happy Halloweeny. Halloween 2021. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, we're going to take you on a little tour of this place and uh, get it up there. Got a few other things to show you along the way. But we're going to have a good old time today. Good time. Now, this would be an excellent place to camp. Well, you can see people do it. You can it. see somebody's already done it. Yeah, someone's already done it. Protection from the wind. Yeah, one thing, the other thing we were, we were talking about why we believe it is not a mill site, for one, is not, there's a there's a lack of tailings or waste piles out front. Yeah, and nothing. Usually you'd see a furnace or a stamp mill or some sort. Again, we'll show you the second and the third levels up there. Yeah, I mean, there are, there are no tailing piles here whatsoever. <laughs> uh, all you have is the, is the busted up rock. So either either one of the theories is the the queen, this was her summer residence when she got advocated from or kicked out of Hawaii, or there's a a rich cattle baron or some sort, or mine owner, or mine or something. Owned all this. Yeah. yeah, this is this does not look like a stamp mill mm. to me. I'm sorry, folks. Because downhill is Park Canyon, which uh, there's a couple of silver mines that really didn't produce too much. Nah. So it would wouldn't it wouldn't make any sense to haul the ore uphill. And that's the first thing I noticed. Yeah. Why would they haul it uphill to process it? 
If there's water, they can bring the water down to them. They don't have to go up to it. Yeah. All right. Very cool. All right, so you want to continue our investigation up yonder? Let's explore, brother. All right, let's go. How's it going? Well, ooh, good echo. Nice echo. <laughs> This is the kind of the second level, which might have been maybe a, a servant's quarters if, if this was royalty or a mansion. Um, you could tell they had some sort of plumbing, which we have a pipe here. We do indeed. And then off here, this wooden, it's like a wooden flume. Which yeah, drains, it was it's all like drains outside. When post it was hollowed out. So that could have been, like I said, this could have been a servant's quarter or this could have been a kitchen. I mean, it's kind of hard to. Bathroom, kitchen, it's hard to say. But yeah, you can see the second level off your right there. And that would have been. That would have been the first floor down there. Probably like a big uh, living room, maybe. Well, kind of what I can kind of figure is basically you had a wooden floor which went went on top of those those windows right there. Right. So this would have been. You might have had a staircase going down, which would have been probably right here. Some purple glass. A little, probably a little wine bottle or whiskey bottle. So as you can see, if there, if there was a mill, or if it was, this would have been where the mill would have been. But there's no signs of where the stamp mill would have been. Nah, I, I can't. Uh, even fathom that this would have been a stamp mill. You just have rebar or metal pipe coming or metal bars come up in a row that way and that way. And coming across. And across. So this would it would have been a it would have been for support, a structural support. And this place is something. So like I said this might have been a kitchen, servants' quarters or bathroom. Yeah, so it's hard to see. But you know, servants weren't always treated that nicely. Sometimes they were, sometimes they weren't. Yeah. If you look at what the English did to the Irish, good lord. It's part of the windows, glass windows. Yep. Still has the purple or the oily sheen. A little tint to it. So yeah, there's right here a bunch of it. So they were sophisticated, they had windows. They had windows. All right, well, welcome to the top floor, which I would be guessing this would be like a courtyard of sorts. Of course, your facade. Yeah, notice the nice brickwork over the arches. And then, uh, it's, even from your front door, that's a good view of your back door. It is indeed. Look at them peaks that, back there. That almost didn't sound right, but it did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> came out okay, though. It came out okay. Yeah, so, yeah, once you, once you leave the courtyard here, you walk over here. And they built a little aqueduct of sorts. There's a spring. Behind these these pinions, probably 30 feet back there, 40 feet, and to keep the water kind of clean and fresh, that's why we also don't think it was a mill site because they wouldn't care how the water was. But they they put uh, granite boulders over the top of over it. Over the top of it to keep the water fresh. As it and came down to the house. So they kind of made an aqueduct of sorts. Let me see. Right here on this side. Down in there. Keep on trickling it down. comes right down on through. 
right down on in. And right here, right here is a junction. Basically here, it goes to about where that rough looking area in the wall is. There's what uh, Zahner and I believe are uh, possible baths. Yeah, it could be baths in there. So they basically patched that hole because they didn't need it no more. But then the water, the water, yeah, the water. Water. Goes this way. Make a nice little channel down. They were definitely using it for something. Right Demo was there. thinking. Right about where this chunk of corpse is right here. Is where it came out and filled a pond. It looks like it had a little pond right here. And there's a another another basin, another really catch basin right here. Store water, yeah. Yeah, it's a deep one. So I mean, this, you can I mean, see that channel this. down in there. Hmm? You can see the channel down over in here. Yeah. But looking at this, that's a lot of work for a um, a mill. Yeah. I mean, this is this is elaborate. So. Yeah, most of the mills you see, I mean, they're basic. They're there to process ore, and that's about it. This is a, you got a lot more going on here than that. Yeah. To the mansion. I said I could see I could see a Hawaiian princess being up here because. Yeah, I mean this is. Uh, I mean, she probably wasn't happy being here because she went from a tropical island to a. Desert. 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 But. But the rumor rumor is is she she owns several mining claims, and this might have been her summer home. And then she actually used her summer home when she was kicked. Out by the pineapple farmers. Yeah, they got the, uh, <laughs> the, I guess we call it the royal screwing. Yes. And if uh, Zahner's going to leave a, a description in the comments. Yeah, I'm going to put a link in there for you. And it gives a, a little bit of history of uh, Queen Lily Kukul, Lily Liliukalani. Yeah, that one. Liliukalani. I believe... I can't remember if he, she was related to King Kamehameha. I, I believe that was his, uh, or, or, I his think that was his father. daughter or granddaughter. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure which. But Great yeah, so, Hawaiian king. Yeah, but she was, or, yeah, that, that, that her her family was the first monarchy in Hawaii in eight, 1810, I believe. Yeah, 1810. <clears throat> so. But yeah. Well, shall we go do a little more exploring, brother? Yeah, we gotta, we're got we going to go check out Park Canyon, and then we're going to do a little... A uh, little Halloween stuff for you. Yeah, a little, little mine shaft exploring. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's head out. Let's do it, brother. God, what a view. Look at that. What's up, everybody? Well, we are at the gateway of the Tyobies. For other people that are on YouTube, you might recognize this behind me. This is the Horton Mine, which is technically part of the Victorine Mine. They're in uh, Kingston, Kingston, Nevada, Lander County, Nevada. But uh, this is basically a haulage tunnel. Uh, 900 feet up is the main Victorine Mine. We're going to see if we can explore a little bit of that, but maybe not call it a day. Yeah, we were hoping to... Uh... We're hoping to get in this thing, but they, as you can see, have, uh, they've locked it off. Yeah, come on in, we'll... The nerve, the gall, the temerity. So if you, if you watch some of the other channels of people coming up here, there used to be a, uh, a brick wall. And of course the Forest Service came up here and put this nice grate up to keep idiots like us out. But some of those videos that you watch is supposedly haunted. See these chains start swinging in there, right? Yeah. But guess what? Huh? Can you reach that? What, the chain? This thing here, this line will get the chain shaking. Oh, yeah, hold on. You watch, oh, watch, watch. You're not, you're not supposed to do that. Ooh. 
Look at him swing. Now, if those chains are swinging, I've seen him swing in other videos, but uh, those chains are swinging is most likely from a draft coming from the <laughs> other end of the mine tunnel. Well, supposedly back there also you hear a uh, sound of equipment. Yeah, kind of like holding a seashell up to your ear, hearing the sea. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Oh, Sweet. my goodness. <laughs> oh. Demo, I don't know. You might have to carry me out of here. I'm too scared to walk. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is the place, man. This is it. We were going to do some filming for you, but... Uh... Yeah, so if, you're, if, you're, if you plan on watching other YouTube channels about the Horton mine... Watch this one first before you come up here. Yeah, because you will be disappointed when you get up here like us and go, what the... You know? Well, I was going to go in anyways because I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Well, like I said, I was, I was up here probably seven, seven, eight years ago, and you can walk all the way, all the way back there. Yeah. Still had the ore car tracks and... Oh, they tore this place up. Yeah. They're, they're taking all the metal out of all these old mines. But this this is a get... revamp, so this is when the, the miners came up here in uh, 1983 or 86. They, 83, yeah, they were working this. Yeah, they had a 12-man crew that was actually working this mine. But that was it. That was 40 years ago. 1983, I remember it well. I think I was in 8th grade, ninth grade. I remember they blew the marine barracks up. There was a lot of bad stuff. Oh, my God, I think I see something weird. <laughs> Holy... <Ooh>. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It ain't funny. I almost went blind on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother. Yeah, so we're we're gonna go ahead and call this one good and hope everyone hope everyone has a a great Nevada day. And Halloween. Or if you're not from Nevada, hope you're having a good Halloween. We tried to get you a little, a little Halloween. spooky stuff. But hey. Didn't quite work though. There's a, there's always other other areas for us to check out, so stay tuned for for more. Heck yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna roll on out, but we want to wish everybody a happy Halloween and happy Nevada Day. And uh, do you have any further adieus? I have no adieus. I don't either. Oh. And I'm glad I don't. <laughs> 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 but yeah. this has been your old pals, Demo. And Zoner saying, don't let your meat loaf. Loaf! 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, what a view!